Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. I hope you are warm wherever you are. I'm adjusting my seat here in the car. Uh, I'm not driving. I'm pulled over. I'm actually parked at my gym, about to go into class. I'm here to give you just a little Monday morning motivation better late than never, right? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lois East, and I own an online creative company called Emily Grace's Attic, where we paint wonderful wooden signs and do all things crafty, and we just share all kind of fun life hacks and DIYs with you guys uh, and encourage you. That's my passion in my heart, to encourage others through creativity, uh, handcrafted love, right? So, but every Monday, the Lord just impressed on me a few years back to share my Monday morning devotion with you. And so I get on here and just read a short little word out of whatever devotion book I happen to be reading at the time. Right now we're in God Hears Her, which is a little devotion book put out uh, by Our Daily Bread. Um, for those of you that are children of the 80s, you know what that is. Uh, Daily Bread's been around for a long time. So, but we're going to read this morning. Let's just get into it. Today's devotion is entitled, A Work in Progress. And can I tell you that I needed this word this morning? <laughs> A Work in Progress. Uh, and the verse is 2 Peter 3, 18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. And the devotion reads, uh, and I hope I pronounced this right, Pablo Casals was considered the preeminent cellist of the first half of the 20th century. One day, a young reporter asked him, Mr. Casals, you are 95 years old and the greatest cellist that ever lived. Why do you still practice six hours a day? Mr. Casals looked at him and simply answered, because I think I'm making progress. What a great attitude. As believers in Christ, we can learn from this. We should never be satisfied to think we have reached some self-proclaimed pinnacle of spiritual success, but rather we are to continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The result of healthy growth is continuing to bear spiritual I can't talk this morning, spiritual fruit throughout our lives. Our Lord promises that I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. That's John 15, 5. We can be confident that he who began a good work in us will continue it until it is finally finished on the day he returns. That's Philippians 1, 6. Let me just go back and reread that sentence. We should never be satisfied to think that we have reached some self-proclaimed pinnacle of spiritual success, right? That becomes dangerous ground when you get complacent and think you've arrived, right? But rather, we're to continue to grow. We're all growing in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. The result of healthy growth is continuing to bear spiritual fruit in our lives. So, friends, there's your litmus test, right? What kind of fruit are you producing, right? But at the same time, I want to hear I want you to hear me say this morning, give yourself give yourself some grace, right? Because we are all still growing. A lot of times as Christians, especially Christian women, we want to start comparing our walks. Well, I'm not as holy as she is. I don't pray like she does. I don't uh, serve like she does. Well, you're not supposed to. You've got different gifts, and the Lord has put you on a different path and a different purpose. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that they've arrived and you haven't. It just means even they're still growing. We're all still growing, right? From the baby Christian all the way up to the preacher, he's still growing too. And he's still learning. And we have to have that attitude that I am still growing. God is showing me new stuff every day. If we're doing the things to, um, where is it? Uh, if you remain in me. The word, um, root word, the word there in the Bible, abide, 
right? If you remain in me or if you abide in me, that's a close walk when you abide in some abide in something, right? And uh, are we doing the things to abide in Jesus? Are we reading his word? Are we worshiping? Are we giving of our time, talents, and treasures? Are we fasting? Are we, you know, uh, worshiping privately and corporately? Are we doing those things to remain in him, uh, to continue that growth, which is going to bear that fruit, right? Um, so give yourself some grace. You're still growing. Don't compare uh, and keep seeking him. Keep abiding in him. Keep leaning on him, friends. We're all in this together, right? We're all just walking each other home. And we should be gracious to one another and love on each other and encourage each other to continue to keep going, to keep growing. So I love you guys. I hope this blesses your heart and encourages you. I know it did me. Um, I've got lots of Christmas orders going on this week. Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. And uh, we've got some personal fun projects that I'm doing as Christmas gifts that I may share with you. I don't know. I might share some sneak peeks on the back side um, without giving them away. And I have some Christmas crafts I'm going to be doing, so stay tuned. I'll see you later this week with something crafty. Mwah.